Hi everyone, we are here in San Jose del Cabo, downtown. This is the, in the art, art district. district. Very yeah. cool place. Very Super neat. cool. A lot of art. Well, art, restaurants, great shopping, not really too touristy, not cheap stuff, kind of like it. So we're at a restaurant now called the Agave Kitchen. Uh, we hear that the tuna... Tostadas are the best. The best. This guy's telling us the best thing he's had on his entire vacation, so we're looking forward to trying it. Yes. So here's... This is the restaurant. There's Rich. Rich is still with us on vacation. And there's Agave Kitchen. Alright. Let's see what it tastes like. So this is the view from the Agave Kitchen. Okay guys, our overall experience with Cabo San Lucas was incredible. The fishing was amazing. The views were incredible. The, the sightseeing was over the top. We had a really good time. I think the whole family had such a great time that some of them are already planning their next trip back to Cabo San Lucas. Okay, another tip. Apparently, when you're buying tequila down in, in uh, Mexico, you have to be a little bit careful about uh, what you're buying. If you think you're getting a really good deal, you might not, because what happens is they'll take one of these fancy bottles like uh, Glas Glacia Azul and refill it with another tequila, and you're not really getting a good deal. You're getting a, a fake in a used bottle and there's lots of used bottles down here it's a real popular tequila but anyway so when you're buying tequila be careful Okay, a little bit about uh, Uber and the airport. So, um, Uber is could, cannot pick you up at the airport, so you have to get transportation. Um, usually there's a transport. We took a transport over to Cabo San Lucas. But on the way back, the family came back with the return trip on that, so we took an Uber back to the airport from the hotel, and that worked just fine. It was about a third of the price of transportation from the hotel or a taxi. Um, another thing you got to know about Uber a little bit is most of the resorts don't let Uber on the property. So what you have to do, just do is walk down, just down to the corner, down to the street, and then the Uber can pick you up there and they'll take you anywhere you want to go. So that's a little bit about uh, Uber and uh, Cabo. Guys, I just wanted to give you a few tips from our experience in Cabo San Lucas. Um, one of them was uh, buying tequila while you're there. Um, so I get a few different brands and there, there's a few things. I'll show you what I what I bought and then I'll show you what um, what we learned while we were there. Let's go with the first one. This one is called Chihula. When you go to, to Mexico, everyone's a salesperson, right? So this was kind of a salesperson kind of a thing. When we were at our very first restaurant, which was the office, which was a lot of fun, by the way, 
um, they brought us out a sample of their, this is their special tequila that they only sell there or you can only buy it there or whatever the story may be. I didn't see this anywhere else uh, while I was shopping or looking around or in uh, Cabo San Lucas. So, and it was very good. So of course we bought this. So good sales work on their part. Um, the next thing we were looking for is I have a really good friend here in Florida that sent me on a mission to find uh, this. Yeah, this was his favorite. This is or something that he knew about. This is Jose Cuervo, and it's the Reserva um, uh, de, de la Familia, right? Um, I did try this one. This one is a very good tequila as well. Um, so this is for my good friend, Bruce. Next one was not as quite as expensive as the bottle, uh, but this was at a different uh, tequila store that we went to. Uh, this is called uh, Maja, or Ma Mahi, that's what it is. It's Mahi is what this one's called. Anyways, it was really good, so I had to buy this. This was kind of a afterthought kind of a thing. Again, good salespeople there. And then what the advice I wanna give you is when you go to the airport, sometimes uh, some of the more commercial brands, such as, as this one for my buddy Bruce, you'll pay a, a little bit less at the airport where you're in the uh, duty-free shop. The interesting thing was this in particular one they were all out of, but where I paid $200 for this bottle, US by the way, in the airport it was $150. So that's how much of a difference it can be. This one, for a matter of fact, was about, this is $90 US, and it was only at these little stores, these little uh, tequila stores, where they have like, uh, one of them, we went into Tequila Town, they had three hundred different types of tequila which is incredible it was a bunch and that's probably the only place you could buy these these small distillery type uh, tequilas um, when we came back through the airport there was one that I really wanted and it was that it was out of my price range and and I didn't want to buy it but when we got to the airport this is called Clase Azul um, you've probably seen these in the bars are really cool and some people might know exactly what this is but um, it's a. It's also made by uh, Jose Cuervo, so it's a commercial brand. In the store, uh, like Tequila Town, this is about a two hundred and fifty dollar bottle of tequila, and at the airport, this was one hundred and fifty dollars. So a big difference. There's a hundred dollar swing in price. So your my advice to you is make sure that if you buy tequila and you have a layover in the States, when you go through customs, make sure you leave room in your bag to put the extra bottles in wherever you may go if it's out of the country. So that's my advice for this trip. Another important piece of information that I found out while I was in Cabo San Lucas was um, when we were looking at, at these bottles, um, it was brought to my attention because there's a lot of bottles that have there are a lot of different prices everywhere you go for the exact same bottle, which is really interesting to me. And I was talking to um, one of the stores down there and he said, you got to really watch when you're buying uh, tequila like this, because it could be an old bottle with a different tequila inside. So a fake. And some things he got me to look at, or he told me to look at is the seal. Make sure the seal looks like a factory seal. See, this one still has a seal on it. And you got to make sure that it has like the little tear thing. That's something to look for in the, um, on the seal itself. There's on this in particular one, which is a class A Azul. There's that flower right there on the fakes. It's a whole flower instead of that half flower. So that would be something to look for. So when you're buying expensive tequilas down in, uh, Mexico, make sure if, if it's too good to be true, it might be not true. So be careful, you might be buying a fake if you're getting a really good deal on tequila. Cabo San Lucas was more of a fun town and we had a great time there and, and there were so many activities. That's where all the activities are. If you wanna go on a vacation, you wanna go where all the activities are, that's where you wanna go. When we went to uh, San Juan del Cabo, um, it was much more laid back, much more quiet. Um, we really enjoyed that as well. Our resort was amazing, we had an incredible time. Um, so it kind of depends on what you're going to want to do. By the way, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you get to see 
upcoming adventures that we're going to be on. Uh, we're going to be posting once a week. Uh, so we're going to be doing a lot of uh, discovery, mostly in the United States. We're going to try to stay mostly in the United States uh, just because there's so much to do here. And I don't think a lot of people cover the United States quite as well. Everybody wants to go to other countries and, and whatnot, but there is so much to do right here in our own backyard. And we want to show you that. Um, so we hope that you join us for future adventures. Be sure to check out our Cabo San Lucas adventure as well. Uh, we'll put a link in the, uh, in the description for you. You can go and see that one. Uh, we had a really good time there as well as San Juan del Cabo. Uh, so make sure that you uh, see both. And then, um, and then you can see the rest of our adventures as time goes on.